My name's Terry. I'm the volunteer here at the Tupelo Automobile Museum. We're closing and getting a set here in my one of my favorite cars. It's 1921 Wasp. There was only 14 of them built. Uh, only two left in existence. And out of all of them in here, it's it's one of my many favorites. Uh, I guess because of the fin hood it has on it, the history of it, uh, just the unique look, style, and uh, what I've been here at the museum for the last six years is special exhibit coordinator. Uh, we have been working hard every day here as far as, you know, just keeping the doors open, knowing that we're fixing to close. Over the past six years, I guess each and every one of these has sort of become my babies, you know, I guess, sort of like family. When you're airing up the tires or when you dust the cars off and, and uh, you know, it just, it's, it's all becomes a, a part of your family, so. You know, it's real hard, and it's hard to, to see the doors close on it, but like I said, whoever gets this baby will get a fine ride. And, uh, you know, I'll hate to see, them, see all of them go. But, uh, like I said, with the volunteers here, uh, it's not just me. We have several more volunteers that come in. The museum's run by three part-time employees up front. And the rest of us just volunteer to do whatever needs to be done to make the show go on. And, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a blessing from God for me to be able to be a part of this for the last six years. And uh, I know he'll close one door, he'll open another. But uh, it's, been, it's been a real enjoyment. Met a lot of good people, a lot of good car people. Uh, special exhibits, they, they go to a lot of trouble to get our cars ready and to bring down and, and uh, for exhibits. And, you know, they go to a lot of trouble and, and spend a lot of time to help keep the doors open. So for all of that, I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of them. And thank you to Miss Bain most of all for giving me the opportunity to hang out down here and, and enjoy this, this museum. And uh, to me, like I said, she's a blessing. And uh, all I can say is thank you. Thank you for all the car people, the, the great people, great people. And uh, I just want to say thank you again. I have a little story about the wasp. One day I was walking to the warehouse uh, storeroom back there and, and there wasn't very many people in the museum, but I had I had one gentleman, I, I just, for all the way across the museum, he was hollering, oh my goodness, I can't believe it, I found it. And uh, I said, you know, I thought it, I might ought to go check this out. This, he was pretty excited, so I wanted to see what he was excited about. And uh, when I come over here and, and uh, he grabs him by the shoulder. I know where the other one is. I know where the other wasp is. He said, it's in my hometown of Bennington, Vermont. He said that, you know, on that car it says only two left in existence. He said, never would I have dreamed about finding it in a, the other one in a little town like Tupelo, Mississippi. And he was so excited. So I guess that's one of my favorite stories about this wasp here, you know, that, that all the way to Bennington, Vermont, to Tupelo, Mississippi, the wasp, it, it, it stings.